So this, uh, this actress, Emma Mackey, will be part of J.J. Ambrose's untitled feature at Wonder Brothers. I'm not, I wonder if I said that name right. Did I say that name right? Emma Mackey. Emma Mackey, the British actress best known for her work in Netflix, Sex Education, has nabbed the female lead in J.J. Abrams' untitled feature at Warner Brothers. And one would that be? Would it be another DC universe, uh, universe uh, type of thing, or is it going to be something else? It's a female lead, but for what? Uh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know Netflix had a show called Sex Education. Wonder what they show there. <laughs> the actress who appeared as a Barbie in the studio's billion-dollar grossing Barbie last year will now join Glenn Powell and G Gina Ortega, which I do like Gina Ortega because of the way that she represents herself. You know what? Disney should have hired her as Rachel Zegler because she wouldn't bash the original. Like, a lot of fans wouldn't like her as Snow White because she would have the same type of problem that Rachel Zegler had, but it's neither here nor there. She would have been a better uh, person to play the role of. There's no way, because you actually treat the character with respect. But that's neither here nor there, like I said. In what is described as being a trifecta of leads. Yeah. Glenn Plow or Glenn Powell just came out of that Twisters movie. Great successful movie. I don't know how much. I think it made like, like a couple of hundred millions of dollars. I don't know how much, but... Uh, I, I did talk about like this movie making some amount of money, but I don't know. I, rem I don't remember. remember. Do you know Tega, of course, from uh, not Barbie. I don't think she was part of Barbie, but uh, Wednesday. And then there's, a, of course, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And then I guess that's it. I don't remember any. I don't watch a lot of her stuff. Oh, yeah. Some good stars. Some upcoming stars, too. Abrams wrote the script for the feature whose log line and description is being kept in the mystery books, mystery box, and not books. At one point, it was speculated to involve time travel, but sources say that is not the case. Mm, time travel. Time travel explorers. Mm. Yeah, so it's not going to be DC related. God, okay, cool. The reason why I said DC related because DC is now just like the MCU is also now trying to create the DCU uh, type of entertainment for Warner Brothers. So Warner Brothers, of course, and Disney are trying to be the same type of company, creating some type of content with the rights that they do have on Pacific um, rights, intellectual property rights. The project has been percolating for months, but it, it but is finally heading before cameras early next year. So finally it's going to be made. Man. So Glenn Powell has that twister and then that Sydney... Uh, Sweeney movie that he did, and now he has this project. What else he's gonna have? And then you have Gina Ortega, who's uh, doing Wednesday and Beetlejuice and all that. And then, yeah, crazy that uh, Emma girl or Emma chick. Uh, she has Barbie, uh, and now this movie. Um, wonder how good is this movie gonna be? <laughs> I, I would assume that with Gina Ortega. It's going to be a big, a good movie. Also with Glenn Powell, a good movie. I loved that, that Twister movie. It was great. <laughs> I loved it. It's pretty good. Maggie has been on a, on a slingshot trajectory. The past few years, among her recent work, has been starring as the titular character in Emily, a reimagining the life of Emily uh, Bornte that earned the actress two British Independent Film Awards nominations. 
anybody that does a biopic on somebody should also reward that uh, person that they did a bi biopic uh, as with also an award <laughs> that they want from. I don't know. 